What's up guys, it's your boy Galarn the Titan, That that's like my new header, I like it, I like how it sounds, Galarn the Titan, I don't know, I like how it sounds, so that's uh, my new little thing I guess, Galarn the Titan, anyways guys, I hope you guys like that intro, I made that one myself, but still, the uh, intro contest is still going on and all that stuff, if you haven't made one yet and you're playing on to make one, uh, add the Titan in it too, like Galarn the Titan, because that's what I'm pretty much going to be using. And uh, guys, if you haven't checked out my channel out already, I did a custom background I made myself. I pretty much spent the whole day making that intro in the background. And if you look at like the little default icon, my YouTube icon, it was a picture of like a Titan looking thing. And this says Gallon of Titan, so that's pretty cool. And I've uh, pretty much been doing that this whole day. That's pretty much why this video is coming out kind of late today. But uh, yeah, the video is still going to come out once a day. But uh, I I'm, yeah, okay, never mind. Yeah, the video is still coming out once a day. But yeah guys, so definitely go to my channel, check out all that new stuff, hope you guys like it. The background wasn't that great because my first time making it, and uh, I mean, I like it, but uh, I think uh, <laughs> uh, uh, could have been a lot epic, a lot more epic, a lot, lot better, and just, yeah, pretty much a lot better. Anyways guys, what you are watching right now is me and my DK, yes, 85 DK, during the Vortex Pinnacle on Heroic Mode. So yes, I am doing heroics. Well, I think I've only done one because I've been leveling my hunter most of the time, I'm trying to get that bad boy 85. But yeah, guys. So pretty much, uh, I ran this heroic. Uh, it was very fun. Actually, I haven't had. Well, I missed playing my DK, and I haven't had this fun on my DK in a while because I remember before I used to just do heroics, you know, gearing up for PVE, and or just yeah, pretty much getting gear for PVE, and it was just so boring. I was like, save me, somebody, please. So yeah, but uh, pretty much this heroic vortex pinnacle. So the first boss, the one you're watching right now, he pretty much just have like these whirlwind cyclones running around him. And when they come in, how they were earlier in the video, how they like they like close in on you. You just want to back out in between them, and then once they move back out again or open back up to a big circle, you move back in if you're melee DPS. So it's it's pretty easy, not too complicated. All right, now this boss. Don't get me started on this boss. Oh my god, this boss was just like oh. I hated this boss. All right, so these whirlwinds are moving around at random, and you pretty much you don't want to get sucked in. Bam, does damage. It's it's just all bad. Flies in the air. You just, you just don't want to hit those. those. Those are bad, bad, bad idea. See, all right, it's gonna hit for 47k, guys. So those whirlwinds, you pretty much just want to dodge them while doing melee DPS. If you're ranged DPS, it is kind of easier, I guess. Well, not really, because the tornado is like pretty much freaking everywhere. But really, guys, uh, this boss is pretty easy. You pretty much have a healer just healing the tank, holding main aggro, and you want the tank want to keep that uh, the boss away from the rest of the party when does that like that frost breath looking thing, because that, that that's really gonna heal or really gonna do a lot of damage to the party. As you see right now, bam! You definitely want to move out of that because that's gonna do some nasty damage. Besides dodging that, dodging the whirlwinds, it's a pretty simple tank and spank. There's nothing too great about it, nothing too hard. It's actually fairly simple. Also, guys, I'm not geared at all, and if you look at the DPS, I'm second at DPS. So I was so happy when I saw that. Like, I, well, actually, I felt kind of bad. Actually, I don't feel bad. I f the, the people that's below me, I feel like they pretty much blow balls. Like, if you're that low of a DPS, and you, I'm pretty sure everybody in this party has better gear than me, because I pretty much have blues and greens still. I have no epic items, no purple, nope, none whatsoever. Just blues and greens still, and I'm second highest DPS. I almost got first once, but but the hunter was just I couldn't beat the hunter. The hunter just had it was too good. But the highest DPS I went up to was I think 11.7k, I believe that was the highest DPS I went up to. And that's pretty crazy. I didn't even do that much DPS last time I played my uh, Death Knight when I had the same gear on. So I don't know where this this nasty good DPS is coming from. And if I'm doing this much DPS ungeared, if I was geared, oh my god, my DPS would be just, it would be just crazy, guys. It would be like, oh my god, it would just be amazing. Anyways, guys, so that boss pretty much easy, uh, easy, speezy, lemon squeezy. And I did get a ring upgrade here, as you can see. Nice upgrade, which helped me out. A little gear there, gear here, gear there, when I do heroic, you know what I'm saying? Also, guys, uh, I am gonna start making videos for TGN World of Warcraft. Probably, I'm really thinking about it. If I do, that means I'll buy the Wild Time Card pretty soon. And I'm starting. I'm gonna be doing a PVP series with uh, my Death Knight here. Actually, uh, it's gonna be called uh, Learning to PVP Like a Boss, Like a Boss. 
And uh, it's pretty much gonna be me trying to get better uh, at PvPing, or me trying to PvP like a boss. Because right now I PvP like a noob, I always have, and I really do suck at PvPing like a noob. So that's pretty much what I'm gonna be the new series. And uh, I'm gonna be getting tips from other TGM directors, just tips from the internet, all that stuff. And then through time I'll get better. And then once I am very good at PvPing, I'll just make normal PvPing series. But then I have like a little graduating video, so it's like graduating, and now I'm a boss PvP. You know what I'm saying? Like that type of series. So uh, hopefully uh, I do start that series. I'm not sure if I will. I'm still thinking about it. If you guys think I should, put in the comments below. I appreciate your thoughts on that. All right. So on this boss, guys, he makes like this little uh, temporal, temporary grounding field. You want to stand in that. My noob self did not know that. So I'm staying outside right here, and then if you get hit out on the outside, it's automatically you're dead. So you want to stand inside there. Actually, I just got a resurrection. You want to stand inside the little triangle looking thing, a triangle of lightning strikes. You want to stand inside there, because if you don't, you're going to you're gonna die. You're going to get pwned to the face. One shot and one kill, you're dead. So you want to stay on the outside of that. And if you do, it's pretty easy, guys. Uh, this boss is pretty much tank and spank if you have a good healer and a good tank. And if DPS is pretty low, I'm pretty sure you can still do it, just that you're most likely just going to take longer. Because the DPS is not as fast, you won't be killing the boss as fast, you know. So it's just really going to take longer, guys. But yeah, uh, that's pretty much it, really. That's all there is to it. And here, I really thought I wasn't going to make it. I was so close to not make it. Like, see right there, I got hit once and almost killed me. I have like one third of health left. So that was very close to not making it. I should have ran earlier, but I... Yeah, I don't know what I was thinking there. But you see my crits, guys. I'm gonna need some pretty good crits. The one just there was like 23k. So those are pretty some pretty big crits. Nasty crits. So pretty much my rotation is Icy Touch, Plague Strike, uh, Blood Strike, Blood Strike, uh, Obliterate, and then Frost Strike, and then Howling Burt Blast, or how Howling, the AoE ability pretty much you get for being a Frost DK, whenever that procs. And uh, that's pretty much my DPS, so I just keep going through that. And use Obliterate as much as possible because that one just does whoo, ridiculous amount of damage. That, that's pretty much your big hitter, guys. And I do my little uh, outro real quick. There you go, swag me out one time. <laughs> I don't know why, guys. I just did that for no reason. Anyways, guys, check out my default channel. Check out the new background on that stuff. Tell me what you think. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Until then, Galarn out.